Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are continuing with the series Geometries in ComSol Multiphysics. Today I'll be talking about a few important things those are required if you are working with 3D geometry. This particular video is going to be informative and hence I request you to watch until the end. Before I start today's discussion, I would like to announce that we have initiated a service where we help you developing your research model and if you want to do that, if you want to take this service, write to me in the email ID given in the description box. I'll reply back to you and set a video call so that we can help you uh, developing your model. Many people have benefited from the service, so do not delay, you write to me. Now let me show you today's topic. So let us initially create a simple geometry, say we create a cylinder and say cylinder has a radius of 2 and height of 8. I select it, I create the geometry. So you can see this is the cylinder simple geometry we have created. Now say we have a sphere and we create it, sphere has a larger dimension say 10. So you can see the sphere actually covered the cylinder that means cylinder went inside the sphere. Now what if I want to have an access to the cylinder. Suppose I have a laminar flow physics and I want to ensure that the laminar flow is happening through the cylinder only and the sphere is not a part of the laminar flow physics. So in order to do that I have to go to that zone and I have to select that domain. But here as you see we don't have access to the cylinder and then it becomes very difficult. So there are multiple approaches by which you can actually get rid of this kind of complexities, this kind of issues. So initially I'll show you, suppose I just disable this sphere and create the cylinder. Now I go here and choose the domain. So this is one of the approaches and then I enable it. So you see still you have the cylinder chosen because you see the number 2 indicates the cylinder. We don't, we can't see but still this is selected. So this is one of the approaches but this approach is not much logical because in this case the geometries are very simple. We have taken only a cylinder and a sphere that's why disabling one option and then choosing the physics is possible. But in case of real geometry, you may have multiple components and those multiple components may have multiple numberings and that's why it becomes very difficult to disable and then select and then enable it. And that is why we should have to take some more scientific approaches. So initially I will show you one approach. So I right click on geometry. There is an option you can see this is selection. I click on explicit selection. The idea of explicit selection is suppose I choose this sphere and I name it as sphere. Say sphere zone. Then what I do, I disable this sphere. I right click on geometry, take another explicit selection and I select this one and I name it cylinder zone. So cylinder zone is chosen, sphere zone is also chosen. Now again enable the sphere, click on build all objects. If I now go to laminar flow, I can actually choose it by manually. So you can see these two options are being shown. Those are sphere zone and the cylinder zone. Now once you click cylinder zone, it will be choosing the cylinder. Similarly, say my heat transfer is happening in the sphere only. 
so again i go here and i choose the sphere zone initially you have to delete all the things then you have to choose the sphere zone so in sphere zone both a 1 and 2 are coming and that's why it has taken 1 and 2 so this is how you can uh, you can define your explicit selections and later on you can have access to those explicit selection in all the drop down menu so this is an advantage so you define it once it's a kind of global definition and in the entire simulation in the entire model you can have access to this now sometimes during the model i mean during our simulation or during defi defi defining the variables in the model we need to have access to the inside that means we have to see where exactly the cylinder is so the first option to see it there is an option this is called transparency if i click here you can actually see this cylinder inside there is another option which is rendering wireframe rendering so if i click here then if you just hover on it you can see what is the what is there inside so you have to hover your mouse through and then you can see if you click then it will become transparent like this so this is how you can actually look at your inside object so you should know about these two options very important now what i have to do is i have to say go inside it so how exactly that can be done this can be done by the deselect option so there is one option that is called deselect box initially we have to click here and then there are other options so if you just hover through it you can see those options so this one is click and hide from the name itself you can understand what will happen so i click here and click on the sphere so once i click the sphere vanished because from the name itself you can understand click and vanish click click and hide so sphere is now hidden now you can have access to this suppose i want to define an inlet here so the inlet can be defined like this say i want to define outlet here so the outlet can also be defined once those two definitions are done then what i can do i can come here there is an option reset hiding i click here it is showing are you sure you want to delete all the hide nodes yeah now i i am sure that I'm, i want to delete because i have done my job my job was to define inlet and outlet to the cylinder so i click here yes and then again you can see this is done now another thing is sometimes we have to cut one particular portion for that i right click on geometry then there are virtual operations in the virtual operations suppose i take collapse phase and if i click here then it will collapse the phase and you can see it becomes like this now if i do it transparent you can see in the inside you have the cylinder so this is one of the options collapse faces but we generally don't use it because it hampers your geometry so the most important options are those so i'll show you all the options again so this is the transparent option this one is clipping this will not be useful here but let us see what happens so while you put add clip cylinder so then you can see this is how you can actually add it it has some different usage i will talk about it in some different video because 
this has no use with this selection and hiding and that's why we are not utilizing this particular thing here now this one this one is select all once you click here entire geometry will be selected i'll just show you i click here so you can actually choose the entire geometry and this one is clear all selection if you click here all selections will be cleared now i have already talked about these options you know about this option this is in the 3d plane this is in the 2d cut plane say this is the xy plane this is the yz plane and this is the xz plane you can actually look at different planes because sometimes it becomes important to look the projection so what we are seeing now we are seeing a projection and the plane is xz plane so all those options are very necessary and we frequently have to use it if we are dealing with comsol 3d geometries and today i stop here i hope this video was informative and it will help you developing or handling your file before i end today's video i would like to request you to subscribe to our channel because it would give us more motivation to upload videos thank you